So the movie Puzzles is kind of like my life. It's full of pieces. Sometimes it has to be put back together again. I'm like Humpty Dumpty. What's up everybody? Welcome to Movie Importance movie review of Puzzles. The newest film from Uber producer Mark Turtletub stars Kelly McDonald, Irfan Khan, and David Denham. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys haven't heard of this movie before, and I hadn't heard of it before until I saw the trailer a couple months back. But the idea of the story is Kelly McDonald plays this lady, his mom, who's stuck in this dead-end relationship. Her husband's a mechanic. Her sons are, you know, they're kind of spaced out. They're, one's like the son of a mechanic. The other one's like dating a Buddhist. And she, she's just kind of nothing there's nothing to her she's just a plain old housewife and she, at the beginning of the movie she has a birthday and she's given an iphone which she doesn't know what to do with because she doesn't really like to deal with technology she just wants to be you know simple her life has been simple so she also receives this puzzle you know you know the things you put together make pictures and she realizes that puzzles make her feel good they make her feel special about herself and she does them really quickly, so she's really smart at doing them. She knows how to put the pieces quickly together. So her life, is, like I said, is boring. It doesn't have any purpose until she meets Irfan Khan's character, who's this bored. His wife just left him. Um, he needs a partner for this puzzle competition. And she meets up with him, and they, they start to form a relationship, a bond, over puzzles and it leads to complications with her family life because she can't really tell her husband that she's doing this competition with another guy because you know the whole cheating and the whole marital affair issue and she starts to learn a little bit about herself she starts to express herself more starts to take on a better um uh, better way of dealing with things and it starts to show and then when she starts to deal with a relationship with Irfan, Kur or Irfan Khan's character, she starts to realize how she expresses herself is not through menial tasks, but the idea that she's really smart and she's really funny and she has a lot going for her. And that's what the puzzles represent. They puzzle, the puzzle represents her life in pieces that she's able to put back together again. And... The really good things about this movie, Kelly McDonald's amazing in this movie, as she usually is. She's always been a really talented actress. She was in Train Spotting, which she was really good in. Uh, Irfan Khan is really good in the movie. He was in um, uh, Slumdog Millionaire as the, the investigator, police detective. And their bond fits really well in this movie. There are a couple of like lost souls almost. They both are going through experiences that are not very much fun, not very well you know, not something that we want to go through. And when they start developing the bond through the puzzles, you kind of see that they're two almost compatible people. But the problem is she can't express her feelings about him, even though she's kind of like laid back or pulled back and scared. And she's afraid of her husband. And that's where David Denham's character comes in because he's the husband. He's kind of a, you know, an everyday man. But he holds her back. He keeps her from being what she should be. He, he's kind of abusive, but without hitting her or being physically... He's more of a put-down type of guy. He's the kind of guy that like is scared to move on. And her sons, who are also really good in the movie, they also express that she's just not a very fun person to be around. She's very boring. She just has no life. Um, there's a college application that one of her sons puts in and goes, my, my mother never experienced anything, and I want to experience something. And it kind of shows that you can be abusive without being truly abusive. And it's very heavy-handed in this movie. It kind of deters from what the actual idea of what she needs to become. She needs to express herself through these puzzles. And when she's with Irfan Khan, it really shows that she, you know really likes what this type of life that she wants and then she ends up having some kind of relationship with him and the movie just it, it just shows that whether you are in a bad relationship or you've had a relationship just end 
there's something that you can do to express yourself. Like, for instance, me doing this YouTube channel or the podcast. You know, there's simple things, but they're something that you can really, you know, express to people. You know, I can sit here and go outside and be introverted or, you know, so on and so forth. But when I can sit here and talk to you guys or when I can sit and and talk to my friends on a podcast, or even when I can go out and, you know, sometimes talk to people, it makes you feel better about yourself, and it makes you feel special, and there's not a lot of times where you can feel special. I mean, we're so busy in the rat race of life that a simple thing like a puzzle, it just, it really, it really helps with your soul and with yourself, and that's what this movie's trying to convey. It's not perfect. Um, the whole hand headed matter of the abusive relationship or the him trying to put the relationship down, the David Denham's character. And the kids are kind of iffy. One of them, like I said, wants to be a Buddhist. He's going to go to Thailand or whatever it is. And the other kid just wants to be in culinary school. And they don't really see sometimes what for the mother for who she is. And she is kind of God-fearing, I guess. And she's kind of like distant. She's almost introverted herself. But it just, it just, it's a very interesting movie to watch. It's not going to be ever be a big movie. It probably won't be an Oscar winner. And the relationship between the two characters, the uh, McDonald and Khan characters, I wish there was more to it because their, their relationship and their dynamic is interesting enough that when they're talking on top of the puzzle making, it's just it feels like they connect. It feels like they could have been something if they had met 10 years earlier because she brings up a point where she goes, what if we, you know, she says it to David Denham's character, what if we met years later, or we had both gone, or I had gone to school, and it's also the same thing with the Irfan Khan character. If these people had just met years earlier, I think she would have been a completely different person, and that's what the story's about, about her expressing and being a completely different person in the end. And the movie doesn't, necessarily always work it leaves on a note of what's going to happen and the puzzle scenes are they're kind of in the background which i guess they kind of should be because they're more of a plot structure than they are a storytelling structure maybe but it just sometimes the movie does, it, it moves too quickly and doesn't rely on the moment instead it's worried about what is david denham going to feel you know but like i said they're all playing the characters really well, it just doesn't always work, and she, like I said, she ends up progressing through the movie, but it just feels sometimes like it's too little and not too much, and it kind of hampers it, it's still a good movie, I still definitely recommend it, but go into it knowing that not all things, I guess, are going to be easy, and not all things are going to be expressive, and sometimes that maybe that's good. But sometimes it can hinder a movie. I mean, it's it's what that's the thing about indie movies. They're not always going to be like the most completed, finished thing in the end because that's not what they're going for. But it does hinder the movie a little bit. So if you're going in for a resolution, you're going to be disappointed. I was a little bit. So take that, like I said, take that as always what for what it's worth. I enjoyed it. I definitely recommend it. But just going with a little caveat that some of the story threads and lines are not always going to wrap themselves up. So. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching our review of Puzzle. Um, as always, if you like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, check out YouTube, Audio Boom, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Like what you see, comment below, tell everybody about it. Um, like I said, thank you everybody who has watched so far, so I do appreciate it. But otherwise, we'll go ahead and let you go. Peace guys.